Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Orange. Uh, orange who? Orange, you glad it's time for Abs of Beer TV? <laughs> I sure ain't, or I sure ain't. Ange. Hello and welcome to AbsaBeerTV.com. John Jansen. And Brian Smith, as always. Yeah. Where'd you get these beers, John? Oh, good. Glad you asked. <laughs> Ta-da! Yay. We have our Canadian flag. Yeah. That's a hint. We have our Canadian maple syrup. Ooh, like That's it. another hint. Should we drink the maple syrup, too? We can. We could do that. I'm not afraid. So we were, I was just in Canada a couple weeks ago, and uh, when I went to Alberta. And we went to, I went to some breweries while we were up there. We went, I went to Grizzly Paw, which we have some Grizzly Paw beer. We nice. have the Rutling Elk. And we also have a beer from Wild Rose Brewery that we're going to get to drink today. That's Sweet. called the Red Wheat. And uh, went to a couple other places. I went to Beer Revolution and Brewster's. Beer Revolution was with a brewery. Uh, that was that, it was a bar and it, it was really cool the way it was laid out. And uh, they had a peach wheat beer, but they actually put a peach in it. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't sound very, maybe, like it'd be great. Yeah. But it was really good. And I fruity drank several of those. And I went to uh, Brewster's, which was in the district. And uh, we ate dinner there and had a, had a sampling of all their beers, which were very good as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Canadian breweries, Canadian microbreweries are very good, so I'm very happy that we have, have some stuff to drink here today. I'm pretty happy too. And you brought I, these all the way back and... Yeah, they made it through customs and everything. Wow. Perfect. You should have brought more. I, I should have brought more and actually uh, Andrea from uh, Wild Rose suggested that I bring more back and I was being a wiener and being like, <laughs> oh, I can't fit it all in my oh, suitcase. So it's too many clothes. She was, she was right on time with that. Cool. So what's up first? All right. So first thing we're going to do the Rutling Elk. So let's go ahead and... Rutling Elk. Give this a... I like a, that. Yeah, it's a, a red ale, obviously. And, well, we can see the color here, but uh, it's very, it was very good. This is red. Yeah. Rutling Red Elk. And uh, cool. lots of body. Get some good of that character. Trip. There you go. Good call, Trip. Yeah. yeah. Trips go that. That is the special close-up marker. Nice. Yeah. So if I, should, if I move that, then we won't have special close-ups anymore? Uh oh I think I moved it. I know. Now I'm messing Okay, well, now we got it back. Cool. So uh, Grizzly Paw was way out in a place called Canmore, and it was about, I don't know, a little over an hour ride from uh, Calgary. Mm -hmm. Beautiful scenery. Just gorgeous. So hopefully uh, at some point we can... I, I put some pictures actually on our Facebook page and you should check them out. And I got really lucky on the way out there. There was like a gas station in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. with this beautiful mountain scenery on the back behind it. And it had this huge Canadian flag up and it was blowing in the wind with cool. the mountains in the background. Cool. It was awesome. All right. And they had a lot of cool beers. Their beers had neat names like Powderhead Pout... Powder... Powder Hound Pilsner. <laughs> Say that 17s fast. <laughs> it was hard just to say it once. And throw in some seashells on a seashell. <laughs> big, big, big head nut brown ale, beaver tail, raspberry ale. You said beaver and head. <laughs> in the same in the same sentence almost. What kind of place did you go? Uh, it was pretty cool, I'll tell you that. And uh, <clears throat> they had another one called Moose Knuckle Beamer's Coffee Stout, and, he, and there's a Beamer's Coffee up there in mm -hmm. Camor, and he, mm -hmm. he, you know they combine that together. So that was. That was uh, one of the other beers that they had. Now I was lucky I was able to try a bunch of them and, and take some pictures and shoot some video there. So that was a lot of fun. Cool. And I have to say, uh, shout out to Chris. Uh, he was from, man, I can't believe I forgot, but he'll forgive me, from Australia. And mm -hmm. he, he came there doing some backpacking. Mm -hmm. And he walked through Canmore and stayed and, and ended up working at that brewery. He nice. was a great guy, and, and I had a good time talking to him about the beer and, and uh, you know, just drinking there. It was a great place. Cool. So we, we had that one. Why don't we, uh, should we try the you bet. Wild Rose while we're here? While we're here. Well, I'm not going anywhere. No, 
Are you in your opening with your happy hour time piece? I am. Nice I job. Do. Good job. Usually takes me more than once. Yeah. So something interesting Not about me. about what? Just no, that time. You did a good job with yeah. it. I'm I'm glassless, but you have one. You have a what, a oh, special look glass. At that. This is wow. the Wild Rose Brewery gra- glass. Nice. I gotta say glass. <laughs> I'll take well, you've got the shirt, so I get the glass. Yeah, that's right. And this is a cool shirt because Wild Rose Brewery mm-hmm. Haku T-shirts are awesome. Refrigerator. What could be any better than that? <sighs> they had nice shirts there. It was a great place. I really had a good time. And uh, it looks more than it really is. Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks. I go yeah, do all sure the work and get in the beer, and then you pour more in your glass. Hey. That'll be a cool shot with this though up there with Trip once he gets done looking at that one. So they had a lot of lot of good beer there too. That was the red wheat. We I brought back a or I mean I had an IPA. I tried everything that they had there. They had mm-hmm. a cherry porter that was really good. Mm-hmm. And I hate to say this because we like efficient beers and I like strong beers, but they had one they called the Velvet Fog, ah. which was four and a half percent, but it was really drinkable. Mm-hmm. And something I wanted to talk about. I got my cards. Oh, no. They're not as stiff as I wanted, but these will work for now. Okay. And uh, Grizzly Paw, Wild Rose, Brewster's, Alley Cat, Drummond, Jasper Brewery, and a, and a bigger brewery, Big Rock, that's up there in Canada, in Calgary as well, brew something that they call Unity Brew. <laughs> and that Unity Brew, they brew for charity. Mm-hmm. So they all combine ideas and, and thoughts together, and they brew this beer, and, and they were really happy because they were getting to do it at uh, Big Rock and Big Rock's a a bigger brewery so they wanted to see what it was like to brew beer on a larger scale because both Wild Rose and Grizzly Paw are smaller Mm -hmm. microbreweries Mm -hmm. and this is their third attempt at it and their first year they created a dry hopped black IPA the second year they created an American Amber and Mm -hmm. this is the third year is going to be a Belgian Golden Ale spicy characters in it it's about 6% and I thought it was interesting because you don't see this very often. Both breweries that I was able to go to, both Grizzly Paw and Wild Rose, both had female brewers. Yeah, cool. And uh, I didn't get to talk to the fem- the brewer at, at um, Grizzly Paw. She was mm-hmm. off that day, but she was from America. Mm-hmm. So she came up there as, as well and, and stayed and started brewing. But I did get to talk to Andrea, who was at uh, Wild Rose for for quite a while and I got to walk around the, the brewery with her and that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Very good. This is awesome. I'm glad that you got to travel there and bring me back beer. This is awesome. Both of these are really good. Cool. I had a great time at uh, Wild Rose. I uh, closed the place down and uh, the, the young lady that was waiting on me and the young man <laughs> behind the bar uh, we're very cool, and I stayed there all night, and we drank, and uh, that's that's why we got all this stuff. They were trying to make you leave. Probably they're like, here, here can take you take a glass? This? <laughs> here, take take a placemat. Oh take yeah, we have a placemat. Yeah, we'll show that. We have our coasters, coasters, like, and everything. Here, just take a chair. They're take probably trying to get rid table. of me. I don't doubt it. Yeah, get out of here. They were great folks. We we had a great time. Uh, the girl's name was Katrina, and uh, hi Katrina, uh, and uh, the gentleman's name. Hi, guy. Hi, gentlemen. <laughs> you were great to cool. me, and I feel bad. I, I I wrote it down, but I left my notes, cool. other notes. So it's hard to remember people's names when you're traveling like that. I talked to so many people when I was up there, but mm-hmm. it was uh, awesome. Well, according to my happy hour timepiece. Nice plug. It's time for the brews. All right, let's do those. So we're just going to... Uh, finish drinking? Finish drinking All right, let's while do you that. guys watch the brews. It's a great idea, and we'll be right back. And welcome to the brews. And uh, before we get started, I was wondering uh, what was up with the uh, Angry Birds shirt. <laughs> and really, the big question is, why are they angry? Um, maybe because they can't drink beer. I would be angry if I couldn't drink beer. <laughs> be so, angry too. Uh, they may. That could be it. Could be. Could be. So you're gonna lead off? Yeah. All yeah. Right. What so do you we got, got uh, three things to talk about today on today's brews. The first thing we're gonna talk about is Mystery Brewing Company. And what makes them a mystery, or I don't know about that. Maybe it has something to do with the birds. Could... <laughs> <laughs> I've exchanged a couple of emails with Eric Myers, a mystery brewing company, and 
Uh, you guys got to check out their their blog. It's uh, it's awesome. The links on the screen. Um, the the blog really talks a lot about how they use investors and Kickstarter.com to help fund their their project mm -hmm. and to get Mystery Brewing off the ground. Um, great great story. Just go check it out. Mystery Brewing Company. I'll do that. And next up, we have some <laughs> sad news. Unfortunately. Montgomery County is no longer, and that's in Virginia, is no longer a site to be chosen for the Sierra Nevada project. Mm. Uh, the county spokesperson, Ruth Ritchie, said in an email on October 27th that the site would no longer be considered by, by Bill Manley of Sierra Nevada. And the reason why is there's an out, online outdoor retailer called BackCounty.com. On October 11th, they announced to build a distribution center right where Sierra Nevada was going to build the property, so we're out of the running. At this point, there has been no other ar areas in Virginia that they were even looking for, but Tennessee and North Carolina are still in the running, so we oh, still cool. get, may get one in close proximity. Cool. That'd be fun to visit. It would be. I'd be looking forward to that. Neat. Last thing we want to talk about is the ladies of craft brewing. Girls like beer. They do. So yeah. do women. Yeah. So, uh, again, go check out their website. And uh, hold on, John. I gotta check my notes to make sure I get the name right. The uh, teleprompter's not not working. Uh, I don't see a teleprompter. What do you mean? That's why it's not working. Because <laughs> um, we don't have one. I I get it. The the founder of Ladies of Craft mm -hmm. uh, Beer is Stevie. I'm gonna mess this up. Calderala. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but she's basically she wasn't a, a beer girl, and she got turned on. I believe the first beer that she really liked or that she really tried was Magic Hat Number no. 9. Oh, that's a good one. And next thing you know, she started to uh, learn more about craft beer, put together a group of gals that, that like craft beer. So there you have it. Go check them out. Can't beat that. And they also have a lot of cool stuff on their website to buy, too, yeah. which is pretty neat. I kind of want one of the, the shirts, but it might look funny. I don't know if they have double extra large. <laughs> that's the problem. Some of the shapes were different than, than me, too. Me, too, so, as well. Yeah, yeah. So. And uh, that wraps up the brews for today. Yep. Thank thanks. you. That's awesome. Yeah. The brews. The, the brews are always awesome. Yeah. They're fun putting it up together, too. This is awesome. This, this is the, the, the rutting elk. And it's... They make great beer. Yeah. I mean, the beers I've had up there have been really good, so I've been happy with that. Cool. Cool. Hey, John, before we move on to the next segment, right. I have some letters from our fans. All right. Awesome. Yeah. I got uh, a two here. Uh, here's the first one. It says, Dear Brian and John. That's us. I'd like your show more if you would give something away every now and again. Hint, hint. All right. From Ben. Do we have a last name? Nope. No, nope. just, just ben. ben. Ben, thanks. We hear you. We should give something away. Well, we can do that. Yeah. We'll have to come up with a contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's Here a great idea. Here read the next one. All right. Oh, excellent. Dear Ben. Beer Bellies, can you send me Optopia's website, please? <laughs> Thank you, Beer Farts. Yeah. That's not even about us, though. No. It is fan mail, though. Well, so this keep is it all coming. It. I this, got it this all. Is all of it? Yeah. Wow, it's. I can't wait to. Well, did it come in a big sack? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. No. No. It was a little sack. <laughs> all right. Yep. All right. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, we'll put it on you. Thanks. Thanks. So, next we got. Abs of Beer TV on the road. Is, I that took, a, is that a new segment? It is. All right. I took all your footage that you took while you were up in Canada and uh -huh. put it together. So nice. let's take a look. All right. Let's do that. Cool, man. Canada. Yeah, it was great. I had a, I had a great time there. That's a great picture. This is on the way to Canmore and a Banff I tried to go to, but that's a long story. <laughs> looks, uh, looks, looks cold. Yeah, man, it was cold as bleep up there. I'm standing out there taking this video with the wind blowing in a t-shirt and shorts. That was a bad move on my part, but it's just gorgeous. <laughs> it looks it. And, and tall. Tall, tall mountains, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. And here we are coming into Canmore. Nordic, is Look. that where they make the Nordic track? I think so, I didn't ride on one though. <laughs> Church. And what's the best church. thing yep. across the street from a church? A brewery. That's Isn't that right. perfect? It works out excellently that way. <laughs> and uh, there's the paw shop, and the paw shop had a bunch of stuff to buy, glasses and shirts and stuff, and, uh, you know, it was cool. Good and these are the stuff. beers, like I said, the, the Powder Hound and the Grumpy Bear Honey Wheat and the Rutting Elk, which is what we have. <laughs> yep, yep. And as we pan across here, there's some fine 
uh, people there and they were really nice about taking pictures. Yeah. Here's a bunch of mugs and then I heard the words that just mean everything to me. Yeah, that's about the, uh, the brewer. The brewer's in the back there. And he's oh, he is? Welcome to uh, come, back, come back down the brewery, Phil. Sure. And that was Chris. And there's Matt, the brewer. Yeah. Great picture of us. There you go. Drinking. Perfect. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. And Welcome your name is? My name's Matt. Welcome to the Grizzly Hall. And uh, are you the brewer? I'm one of the brewers. I'm not the brewmaster. My boss, she's not here right now. She's an American gal. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, some of our beers have that American influence a little bit. Okay. Which has been really good, I have to say. I like British malts. Traditionally, I like British hops, but I've been coming more around to American hops now. I, okay. I really like them, that's for sure. That's just out of the brewery. That's trial and error thing. You try something, you like it, you don't, you can mix it up the next time. Uh -huh. And we're lucky on this little small scale, we can do almost anything we like. And we let the patrons tell us whether they like it or not. You know? Oh, nice. So it's kind of nice. Doing specialties is a lot of fun. Cool. How many beers do you have on tap right now? Seven regulars. Right. And I think there is uh, one, one seasonal on right now. Okay, cool. Is yeah. Swamp Water, is that a... Uh, that's a pop. Oh, it's a soda? It's a soda, yeah. All right. Yeah, so it's, it's a great beer name. Yeah, it is a great beer name, isn't it? Yeah. That's all of our sodas all mixed together. Okay. And then bottled for the kids. Do you have that on tap? Not on tap. No, all right. Well, it was like a, a charity thing that we did. Oh, gotcha. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Sure. So I just, I only, only want to keep you for another minute or so. What's your favorite beer that you brew? Uh, well, the IPA for sure. Okay. I like definitely flavor forward beers. Um, I do like our raspberry beer as well. We use real raspberries and real raspberry juice. Uh, and we incorporate it in a way that it's not really uh, over the top. The bitterness of the raspberries contribute to the beer as well, which I find is quite nice. So uh, I think that's a nice one that we make. Um, I like our brown ale as well, but the IPA is my standard for sure. Cool, gotcha. So. Do you uh, have the raspberry on tap now? Yeah. All right, yeah. good. So that's I'll definitely get on. to try that. Give her a try, see what you think. All right. Um, well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. This has been very impromptu. I just kind of busted in on Matt, and he was thankful. Lucky, I was lucky enough that he would talk to me, so I appreciate it. Uh, you're very it. welcome. Cheers. Bye. I can't wait to try the beers. It's all about spreading the good word. Ac absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Man, he seemed like a really nice guy for he was, to come back. He was a great guy. I, I had a great time there. And what cool. It's beautiful there. But, so... Where'd you go next? I went to the Wild Rose Brewery, mm -hmm. and that was in a hangar, an old hangar on a on an Air, Air Force base. And uh, it's a long story getting out of there, but the <laughs> Wild Rose Brewery was a lot of fun. Uh, these are the beers they had: the Wasberry Ale and the Velvet Fog, which I talked about earlier. And, and I took some pictures back here. Is is where the uh, <laughs> this is the Alberta Crude. It's an oatmeal stout. <laughs> That's a crush. <laughs> it was a really strong, full-bodied <laughs> beer. That's for sure. It was really good. And this is just a, a copy of their taps. You know, picture of their taps. They had a bunch of beer there. It was very good. And there it is. Can't wait to try it. Oh, yeah. Looking real Sample. good. Real nice color on all those. Sample is such a good idea. Excellent idea. And this is some shots from the from the brewery. And that's Andrea. She. Uh, really was very nice to me and and showed me around and we had a little spillage there doing? so she had a quick quick had to it up. take care of that <laughs> it was good enough to do that yeah. that's the an old boiler that they had that's been there for quite a while and they have their own bottling line so i didn't get to see that operate but it was was still there and wrapped it up with a with a great picture and uh, she gave me a lot of great places to go and i finished off the night with a wild with the wild rose cherry porter Nice. And those are my buddies. It's Katrina and the fine young man. And uh, that wraps up my trip. Well, welcome back from um, Abs Beer TV on the road. That was pretty cool, yeah, especially awesome. since it was me that was on the road. It looked cold there. It was cold. Yeah, it was really cold. But mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. It's beautiful. Just a beautiful area and great people and good beer. Cool. So we had it all. Awesome. Well, what else did you bring back? I did bring something back. I brought back some of... Canada's finest oh. Canadian whiskey. This is Gibson's Gold. Nice. And uh, it's going to be all you, John. Oh, you don't. I don't do the whiskey. You're going to do a shot of whiskey with me. I'm going to stick with the beer. I'm going to take our flag <laughs> and put it in this bottle. And the empty bottle. Empty bottle. Live on TV. Ooh. We're going to do a shot of Gibson's finest 12-year whiskey. Fun. Woo! That was good. 
think some hair just grew. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe I should do some more then because I need it. All right. Well, that's it for episode 18. 18. Right nice. Yep. Nice. Got to so, keep uh, them rolling. Abzabeertv.com. Out. Out.